All right, guys, as you know, I've been doing a, quite a bit of traveling and of course moving from Fairbanks it requires even more traveling. So today I thought I'd do a video on my road trip EDC. Now, largely to get started, it really doesn't change. My general like uh, just rundown for EDC doesn't normally change that much, but there are a few things that kind of alter for road tripping. And the first one and probably the most important thing is that generally speaking, when it comes down to it, I try to always carry some Something like a knife in this case today it's just a benchmade 940 but I try to carry a knife you know general things like pens uh, flashlights um, usually stuff like that but usually when I am road tripping as the kind of uh, subject implies that you're sitting for long durations and periods of time obviously driving so when I think about my EDC I usually try to lean towards um, comfort oriented so this oftentimes means smaller lighter gear that can be more easily carried that's not going to get in the way so that's why I like a pretty good example of a EDC knife that I would probably run um, or do run honestly um, sorry for the lighting but that I do run for EDC in a road trip set situation or setting is something like this bench made 940 and of course with things like firearms usually something like this fn 509 c is going to be the ideal kind of thing to run because it's going to be able to be carried pretty easily but it's also not going to dig into me it's not gonna be big it's not gonna be bulky it's a really important consideration especially because whether you're running you know six o'clock uh five o'clock um or appendix carry you know you're going to be sitting down for a prolonged period of time so if that gun is digging into you at any part of your body it's going to get uncomfortable so from my years of driving around is that when you have to road trip or you know drive for an extended period of time you really just want super comfortable gear that is not going to you know like hurt you or just make it uncomfortable i mean sitting as it is already is uncomfortable for a prolonged period of time so trying to minimize that as much as possible is valuable now some other things that are a little bit more specialized that i do like to carry are battery banks something that um like is a consideration for me especially in alaska is that like when you're road tripping depending on where you're going uh you know oftentimes a lot of places i'll go places like independence mine you know might be a destination on your road trip and of course there there's really no amenities so like even if you wanted to have you know like access to power it's just not a, a feasible thing like you can drive into independence mine but obviously there's no you know it's not on the power grid it's not going to really have any necessities so oftentimes carrying water you know like uh, gallons of water um, you know carrying things like battery banks becomes really important because even if you're able to drive into the location it probably doesn't have any amenities so anyways like i said having something like battery banks i usually tend to run a handful of these are the flip 36s by goal zero these things you know like they can fit in your palm they can fit in a pocket easy enough but really these are great for like having around your vehicle because they're about a 10,000 milliamp hour battery life and i prefer the original ones the newer ones are like 9,700 milliamp hours hours the old ones are just over 10,000 milliamp hours so this is one of their older versions but I definitely prefer the older ones but either way whether it's a newer or an older version of these these are usually my go-to because they're fairly inexpensive I say fairly because I feel like most battery banks are pretty darn expensive but um, they're fairly inexpensive and they get you a 10,000 milliamp hour battery which is good for you know like three to four charges of a phone uh, you can power tablets with them and you know like most smaller electronics obviously they're not going to be generators and if you're going for an extreme prolonged time or if you're going like overlanding you might look at bigger battery banks of course to power more things but these for me for most basic road tripping purposes do just fine so in addition to that two other things i like to have in my truck obviously i'm not in the truck so i can't exactly show them even if i was i couldn't really show them off that well is i really do like having things like wireless chargers like in my truck i set up a custom uh, wireless charger for it so that it's very easy to throw your phone on this little pad and it will charge while you are just driving along in a way that um, helps you preserve your battery banks because if you stop anywhere like say you stop to get you know food fuel or if you stop for a prolonged 
period of time somewhere to go hiking or something, then you can use battery banks to charge your phones, your electronics, right? But if you are driving from destination to destination and it's going to take you hours anyways, you know, you can throw your uh, phone on a wireless charger and that way you don't have to deal with like wires, um, but you're also charging up your phone. So that is another preferred thing that I do like. Obviously, like I said, I kind of lean towards having a lot of like redundancy with keeping my electronics alive, but uh, once again, also to making sure that you have your needs met. Usually with me, as you guys probably have already seen on the channel, I usually have my survival backpack, which I will beef up during the um, summertime to have extra food, extra water, extra supplies for just living. Because once again, a lot of the destinations that you're road tripping to in Alaska aren't necessarily the most populous places. Like if you drive into Anchorage, of course, you're going to have full amenities. But if you're driving into places like Independence, even places, some smaller places like Seward, you know, you're not necessarily going to have everything at your hands. So um, <clears throat> having the ability to provide for yourself is going to be valuable. Anywho, guys, that has been kind of a brief look at road trip EDC stuff. Like I said, a lot of it doesn't change. A lot of it, you know, still carry the same kinds of knives, same kinds of guns, same kinds of flashlights, um, pry tools, e um, freaking multi-tools, all this kinds of stuff. Never really changes too, too much, but um, yeah, still important stuff to have. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.